Hey folks, and welcome back to Northgard. Last time we had pretty much secured, look now at my mini map, both of the, the gateways is what I'm calling them into this other kingdom right here. I'm feeling pretty secure, secure enough to not deal with him anymore, not deal with expansion in that direction anymore. I'm thinking that we have got the upper hand and that we can sit back and, and just explore the economy for a while. So there's, there's still a lot more to show as far as a tutorial to this game out in this area without having to get back into war again. We've got winter coming, another month and a half. Food is at plus one, so there's a problem there. We're going to have to figure that out. We can always hunt wolves for temporary food, but I don't think there's enough wolves left on the map to, to help us through a real winter. So we're going to have to get our foundation going again. Um, what else? I'm thinking that we are out of stone there. Let me unpause it. We'll check that out. Um, I was having trouble last time getting the scouts to explore the enemy territory. I found out since that you have to upgrade the scout building, you know, whatever it's called, the scout house, whatever it is, before they will go into enemy territory. So that's something to do there. And when they do it, if you look at the mini-map here, I don't know if you've noticed it through the last several episodes, but we started off with, where are we? Right there? I think that's our, our main, our, our town hall. We started off being able to see something about this big. So the mini-map is dynamic. As we explore more, everything shrinks and expands, and, and we get to see a bigger map. So I have a feeling, because right now it looks like red might be down to like three little tiles and that's it. But as we explore into here, I have a feeling that we're going to expose a lot more map. I don't know what size it's going to be, but but um, you're going to see this whole thing change the way it represents itself in the mini-map. So with that, let's see, glancing down at my notes, anything else? There was another question I had last time, and I have not answered that yet. When pull out of here, when we took this one, this one over here, there was a red line here, and then it went away. Somehow they pulled back. Can we abandon a map tile? I don't know that answer. Do we have a map tile that we can get rid of just to experiment? I don't know how the red went away. There isn't another enemy that took it. Let's, we're out of, we're out of uh, uh, stone here, so let's go ahead and take this one out. So we eliminate that. Uh, we've got four people without jobs. Um, where are we right now? Oh, we're clear up in this area. There's a scout, and we have two scouts hiding up here. Okay. And then we've got miner and a miner. So let's send all of you guys... Whoa, to here. Earthquake. Okay. Let's grab a villager and have you repair that one. Zoom out a little bit. Have you repair that one. I need another villager. You are... Alright, we're just gonna... What are you? Ah, here we go. You were the miner. You're now about to become a villager. Okay. And let's take care of... There's another burning building here somewhere. What am I not seeing? Ah, all the way up here. That might be a problem. That's not a house. Where's the nearest house? I know houses around here. Okay. Well, hopefully I get there in time. He probably will. We still have a lot of bar left. I would assume it's going to cost more wood the longer it burns down to repair it. Um, let's see here. So we have wiped out our iron. We have 46 of it. Winter's coming. Ah, got to think about that. We have a little bit of stone left. Okay. Food. What is with food? We have six villagers. Did you... You did. So you became a, a farmer. So let's... Okay. We upgraded these, but I guess I never put the extra person in. that work? You are three of three. Okay. Alright, so what has that done for us? We're at negative 19 and we're losing fast. Um, 
tell you what, I need to get into here. Let's grab our our uh, warband for starters and have them jump in here and get us some food. I don't have the food to buy the land to get more food coming. And that's a problem. What are you guys doing over there? Yeah, there. No pro well, you're hurting a little bit. You go back over there. The rest of you guys, let's go take out this group. But I want this for food. Negative 10. Alright, everybody gonna survive this one? Oh, that war chief there. He, uh, he just double handed there. Um, all of you, dive in. And. He, oh, there's just the one in there. Okay, that's done. No other wolves. No other wolves. Okay. Food wise, it got us back to 200. We're at negative 4 now. What changed? Negative 4. We were at negative 11. Maybe the one finally arrived at the, uh, uh, at, at the, what do you call him, the hunter? That might be it. You, mine, and we are done with these resources. Shut you down. Okay. Nobody else says they're idle. Let's get the warband out or back into our own territory so we can heal. And then the war chief. That's where I was going. He needs healing, though. We could take him and have him take a territory. Once we take this territory, we no longer can farm wolves or food out of it, unfortunately, and there's no other way to get in here. Though what we're going to lose in food there, we're going to definitely gain in here, so I'd say that's worth it. Let's... Well, we're losing 10 each. What's it going to take to grab this territory? 310. We can't... Oh, we have sheep here, though. Well, let me click on sheep. It will, but it won't. Oh, it won't really give you a description. Okay. All right, well, what am I waiting for? You guys to heal. Um, guys, come on over here. Is this the one we want? Ooh, we survived into the spring, and I've got to deal with lore here, too. Do I want this one and go in? Do we want this one and go in? Is there any advantage to either? Hmm... Let's take this one. Up in here, guys. And let's use develop area. Increase the number of possible buildings. How can I develop the area if I don't own it yet? That's kind of an odd pop-up. We can colonize it for 310, or I can have my desert berserker colonize cleared area for free. So he is going to start his own countdown, or count up, and take over this one. The other ones are here in case a wolf pops out at the same time, but that's now ours. We have destroyed a wolf clan. We've gained 30 fame and 5 stone. No, oh, nice. 560 fame or Jarl. And it gives you the the numbers for where they those that fame arrived from there. And then Eric the Red, the sheep. <laughs> He's at 430. Um, that's ours now. Um, curious. Berserker, if I wanted to do this again, let's, uh, move him into here. Does it tell me? There. Cool down. What was that? Happiness. We've got to increase all the way back to 100 again before he can do that again. Okay. This is going to cost 350. we got a lot coming in. Let's do it. Let's get our food set up. And this is going to boost the uh, happiness a little bit, too. Because, uh, well, right. Now, that's that's fame, but territory contributes to that. Hap right there, territory plus nine. So, does that mean we have nine territories? Out of curiosity, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12. wonder if it's like two per. Something like that. Okay. We've got this now. That's what's important. Let's build. And I'm pretty sure we're going to need to expand too. Let's just go ahead and get that done. I can't. Do I have to build first? Or is it because build is selected? No. I can't increase it to more than two. 
Well, I wanted to put a hunter's lodge in here. And I wanted to put a fishing hut in here. Fishing. Nope. Fishing. There you are. Fisherman's hut. And I wanted to put... Ah, develop area. There we go. Build. I wanted to put a food silo in here. And give me villagers to get that done. And then I wanted to put in a food silo in here. What was that? Reach. Our enemy has reached the title, the fame of Jarl. Fame title of Jarl. There we go. This one could also use a silo. We've got what? A healer's hut in here. We could move the healer's hut. I like that idea. You guys go away. And... What was that? Rats have been reported. Okay, so we've got a rat attack coming. Let's do something up in this area. You go away. And both of the miners are without a job. Well, we'll do that later. Um, let's build... Let's see. First of all, a healer's hut. There? Yeah. You guys are going to be up here now. And what else could go up there? I wonder if all of our military should be up in this area. We're going to go from there or from here into the enemy territory. Kind of liking that. We have lots of wood right now. Do they cost anything besides wood? Fisherman's hut. Okay. Um, food. Actually, let's just take care of that right now. You, Fisherman's Hut. You go there, and you go there. Let's get those going. It only leaves us with one, though, unfortunately, but, uh... If I could locate the miners, I guess I could. There they are. Let's go ahead and get them back into, uh, yeah, right here. 34 of 36. Let's go ahead and upgrade that one. House upgrade. And while we're at it, I guess let's go ahead and upgrade this. Um, Scout. And let's put one. How do I get a hold of one? Are you highlighted? You're not. One scout. Well, let's do scouts later then. I don't want to put two scouts in there. I don't want to work on this again. Build wood. What I want to know is, is there a cost here besides wood? There is not. Let's put military in here. Which was that? Training camp. Build. Um... Right there, axe thrower camp. Beware, we're under attack. Ah, that guy just ventured into our territory, huh? Oh, I don't think so. Come over here and say hi. Yeah, we'll watch it. Make sure there's no surprises. No surprises. In fact, for that matter, come on over here and say hi, just so we can boost our fame or something with we'll the attack. Is that a thing? Lore discovered area sapped. Watching our green over there. Getting a little iffy. No. We still okay? We're okay. Area sacked. Still just 30. It was 30 before also. Hmm. So that wasn't a thing. Yep. No. Hit in there and be healed. Okay, back to where I was. You are. Let's get my uh, villagers over here. You are training. You are axe throwing. We could pay to expand this to get the other one in, or we could just move it over here. So you're going to be the new shield bearer. And is there anything else over here that we want to move out? How about the scouts over here, too? I didn't improve that, did I? I did. Now, will the new scout already be improved? Probably no reason to move it, though. We're going to get rid of these. Okay. Kind of want to move the military up into the front line, in a sense. And... What else? He's over there. One more to take on that one. Okay. Did that work? I don't see anybody running over to it. Ah. Right there. Okay. What was that? Healer's hut just went away. So let's grab those healers. Right over there. You guys now work here. Alright, that's done. So if I were to take these and destroy them... All 
All right, I've now got room to build more things over here if I choose to. And E. Are they all still functioning? Do they need to be assigned to those buildings is what I'm wondering. Otherwise, what's up? So food's coming in. Let's... What was that? Shield bearer is done. Okay. Okay. So... Doesn't tell me I have... Well, we can get these re-enabled. Okay. Hmm. You are a warrior and a warrior. Do I need to tell you guys to... No, there's no right-clicking. I can tell... That's interesting. I can tell my warriors to become axe throwers? I had no idea. Can I tell this axe thrower to become a warrior? I can. It's going to cost me 40 more. But I can do that. Interesting. So can I take somebody who is of a profession? You are a villager. Give me right there. There is a woodcutter. And I can have them become these without having to be villagers first. That's interesting. Okay. Anyway, we have a lot of people. Lost 104 food. Really? And what is this? I think that's an old graphic. I don't think that's really... Nah, I don't think so. Anyway, uh, let's get all of these villagers that have nothing to do and get them back, I guess, into home territory. And let's go ahead and put another house up while we're here. Build house right there. And let's talk about upgrades. What needs to be upgraded? I'd say let's put... Well, upgrade here is going to cost me 5, 50, 50, and 5. 50, 50, and 5. So I have basically 10 upgrades available. Let's go ahead and do that to our, our defense towers that are guarding the gates. Okay. Food, we've already done it to, right? You are what? Healer's hut. Um, I have no healers. That's odd. Okay. Let's just assign a couple healers. Make that, make that happen. All right, you guys are there. We could upgrade these guys. What will it have? The treaty camp will gain one more warband and increase your warrior's resistance by 100 by 10%. That's going to cost 10 stone. Ah, uh, these cost 10 stone. Increases their resistance. Not sure what that means. Their hit points? Could be. Yeah, it's going to cost the same either way. Let's just get two... Let's see, where are... Let's grab you two. I don't want all three. This, this can take three, so we'll just send two in here. No, I take that back. They're not upgraded. It can only handle two. That's right. Okay. Other buildings to upgrade. Food is well, neutral for winter. That's pretty good. You are the Hunter's Lodge. You... Wow, you're a ten also to upgrade. And you are... I guess it's just the houses has started trading wood with me. Okay. So... Incoming trade is plus two. So is that like free wood? Because I'm not uh, paying for it. That I can tell. Huh. I guess he's saying, please don't attack me anymore. <laughs> Um, all right, that, that distracted me. Where, where am I? You are. That's where I was. Ten and ten. I think the food, maintaining a food supply is pretty darn important. Well, let's add those in there. You, can the silos be upgraded too? They can. That costs another ten. I only have 27 stone left. So we've got to uh, be careful. What is the bonus, though? Uh, food produced in this area... Another 20%. Wow. Okay. We took that out. There was a reason for that. We didn't get back to it. Let's get a food silo in here. And we'll assign another villager to that. Okay, so what have we got here? The scout did get upgraded. Let's get one person. I need a villager. And you are building that. Next villager arrives when? 
we're almost there. Let's get just turn that one into a scout and start the process of exploring this area. Um, Red has moved back into the space and grabbed that one too. Okay. I still don't know how Red lost that space. How do you lose something when there's no other enemy to take it? What are you? Okay. Yeah, we need more villagers. We could have a third person in a lot of these buildings. Happiness comes from here. Brewery. We could upgrade that. That's probably a worthy upgrade. Yes. You know, that's been sitting there. I've been forgetting about it all this time. Let's get into this real quick. Okay. Fur coats, I said I was going to do long ago, so let's just do that. It's going to... Uh, units no longer reduce power during the winter. Okay, let's do that one. And we've still got at least one more. Sharp weapons. Cartography. Explore areas controlled by other clans 200% faster. Don't see that being an issue this time. Uh, this one, Loremaster. That's probably worth it. Ooh, that's worth it too. Let's go that route. It reduces building upgrade costs. Oh, building upgrade costs. I'm not thinking of upgrade costs. I'm thinking of upkeep. We're almost done upgrading. Hmm. By 30%, it would allow that 17 to be the equivalent of two 10 stone upgrades, though. It would. Oh, I should have done this a long time ago. Okay, we'll do it. And that granted us this one. Because we just hit 12 of 12, so that's going to give us... Reduces loss of food during the winter. Yeah, we'll do it. Alright. So, you're done. We could start trading again. We definitely have it. I don't think we're going to need the giant's help, but it'd be nice to see how the mechanic works. Let's go ahead and do that. Build a trade route. Eh? Why can I not... Food, that's why. Then them. And start. Okay. That makes sense. Do I have somebody assigned to here? I see somebody there. It doesn't say one of one. I'm assuming that that is max. There's no upgrade. Okay. So where are we at then? Gold could be improved. We do have the trading post. We do not have the merchant. Let's get that one built. I'm sorry, Marketplace. Train your villagers to become merchants and spend crowns to buy various resources. Let's put you in right next to them. Right there. And assign one of our few villagers left to do that. And the other villager we were going to assign to be a scout. That's right. So now we get to go see just what is hiding behind the red wall there. Anybody else in timeout? No. Construction waiting for builder. Right there. <laughs> Interesting. There were two. I set one for there because they both became scouts. Is that it? Two of two. Yeah. You go back. Actually, go right there. That's even faster. All right. Now you go back to constructing. So you right click on here, it fills the building. So I do have to be aware of that. I thought I was safe by signing one to go build something that only left one available, and that you know that one would do it, but it, uh, it didn't work. So, oh, this one just popped out of here though, so we have one more villager. 38 of 44, and we could upgrade this to get uh, one more out of it. But we have the equivalent. Let's see, what does it cost to upgrade now? If we were to upgrade right here, now it costs seven. Yeah, we can get two more. Weather's going to be cold this year. Lots of food coming in. We just got another one of these. What's it going to be? Cartography and sharp weapons. Negotiation. Marketplace prices. That could be beneficial. Failed threats. Improve your tra trading routes. Crowns income by 50% if you have a berserker. Ooh. Okay, marketplace is done. So, let's see that in action. It was six. Now we're change trade route. Now we have seven coming in. I would have thought eight to nine. 
Oh well, who's going to threaten a giant, huh? <laughs> okay, you're here. I believe I can trade even if there's nobody employed there, but it would be nice to get a little more boost of income. You are a villager. Let's pop you into there. I don't want to fill it, but we'll go ahead and get that coming in. And let's give this a try. I would like to buy stone. There's no stone available to buy. There's probably the advantage of having more people on the map. We can get iron over here. Now, there is some expanding that we can be doing. But I was going to just concentrate on the economy. Um, have we gone? Oh, we are starting to explore over here now. Wow, that's slow. Is it even moving? It is. Very slowly. That's why 200% increase in enemy scouting was important. So in order to scout the enemy, you've got to stay hidden, and you've got to do this completely in stealth, and yeah, probably a greater risk of being discovered or something. Aha, I see. Scout has explored a new area. The enemy has a farm. Ooh. <laughs> okay. What next? Our army's not doing much. Let's give them something to do. Let's pop into... Wolves? There are no wolves. There are no wolves. Okay. Do we need to worry about farming wolves anymore? Kind of thinking not. Can I Berserker yet dominate? He can. Let's take that one for free, and then we'll buy the next one of something. Somewhere. There it is. We've now got this, which should give us a boost to happiness and a boost to fame. Do we take this? We should at least take this. To, uh... Let's see, I can just claim it. Alright, I can do it. We had a cap of 2,000 food there. Wow. Okay. Then let's have you guys come over here. Let's take this one and we'll just claim this corner and be done with it. Hopefully the giants don't feel threatened that they've been surrounded. All the greens are okay. Good. Gotta remember to zoom in more. Scott was injured. Okay. You guys come on over to here. Let's colonize this one for 470. And let's get our scout back home and make you the new scout. And let's have you, first of all, do this. Alright, so food's been upgraded. Three of three. Hunting, three of three. Doesn't say three of... Th oh, I'm on a farmer, not a farm. Okay. Let's upgrade you. Upgrade costs four, so... F There's more stone there. How did I get more stone? Oh. Well. Huh. The 17 went up to 20-something. Where's stone coming from? I don't know. So many mysteries. We have sheep now. There's something we haven't dealt with. Build. The sheepfold. Where are you? There? No, that's trading. Sheep, 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 sheep. I don't know. Oh. So you can only build the sheepfold if you are a member of the sheep clan? I thought it was... You know, that you just got it a hit earlier or something, or you got it, you came with it. I can't take advantage of sheep. Interesting. These are mine. Uh, I can slaughter them for food. If you have at least one sheep in an area, it will reduce the need for firewood by 20% during the winter. Well, that's interesting. Okay, put you there. Oh, scout has found... 125 and 62. Okay. He's going to go off and do his scouting thing. And I could use one 
citizen here. That is two of two. I want to... Okay, we'll leave you both in there. And the other sheep. Where did you go? You were kind of in oh, the wolf area. There you are. Where else can we go where there's lots of people? Oh, I'm assuming homes. I'm assuming homes. Let's go here. Oh, Blizzard's coming in. Negative 31. Ooh, it's going to come in fast and hard. Ah, uh, wood is tanking hard, too. Now, it's not. A, I think it's based on your you know, total economy, so the negatives are going to get more and more aggressive as we go. That's my guess. Anyway, where are we now? Have we explored further? We have. Has the map... Okay, so the map is starting to move further in this direction as more of this land is exposed. Okay. I'm feeling like I'm coming to the end of an episode. Especially with this blizzard going on. Our numbers are good. We're going to make it just fine. We have to think about this. Let's finish with that. Let's improve tools. Let's also organize a feast. Uh, plus two to, and 20% bonus to all production. We lose a lot of production due to the blizzard, which is taking out 50%. We could combat that a little bit with a feast. But back to upgrading tools. Let's finish with this one. Upgrade the shield bearers and uh, protection against range attacks and increased resistance 20%. If we go to woodcutters, we're going to get an extra 15%. Farmers, here's a way to boost our food. 15% more from farmers, 15% more from hunters. This is going to cost us 30 gold and 5 iron. We have quite a bit of it. Fishermen, so all of our food production. Now, merchants will give us more money, which we could then buy food with. So I'd say that's important too. Sailors are also bringing in money, and they're bringing in lore. Let's go that route as well. Don't have any of these. We will soon. Those 21. Let's save... 10 for him, so we have 11 left to play with. Um, lore Masters. Brewers, Happiness, that's probably a thing. And then Healers. Let's go there. That leaves us 11, so we can upgrade this guy if we decide to. So, um, we have multiple upgrades? No, these are the ones we didn't do. Okay, I, was, I thought I did that one. Okay, so with that, we've upgraded a lot of our buildings. Our economy is looking strong. We've upgraded a lot of our professions. Probably not a lot more to do unless we do want to go ahead and finish uh, um, grabbing the rest of these. We could do that. We have food coming in like crazy right now. So we could do that. We are full over here. I mean, we've taken everything over here. We've taken all of this. We're probably not using it all to its potential. But we have one, two, three more available to get four more right uh, here. And then we invade. And yeah, we'll come back next time to see just how big their area truly is. So let's call this one done. Yeah. It's been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.